yeah, that just went down. We spent, uh, I think, $300, I believe. We are looking to get some pretty crazy stuff here. He's just a freaking maniac. Up first, right here, we have... What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another awesome video. It's pretty funny, because today I woke up and I was like, what do I really want to film? Do I want to go catch something for the pond? Do I want to go check out what the fish stores have in stock? What do I want to do? I ended up heading over to the fish store, walked in there, did a lap, didn't really see anything that I really loved, but there was a couple things that I did like, but they were just pricey. So I thought about it for a little bit and I came to the conclusion, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself today and I'm gonna go get those fish. So now recently in my videos, I've been having a segment of just two minutes of underwater footage in the saltwater pond of just watching those sharks and the eels and the snapper. Just go to work, eat. You guys get to watch them swim around the pond, eat, just really just natural underwater footage. Nothing crazy, just B-roll of them swimming around and you guys are loving it. Some of you guys are like, heck, I'll take even more than two minutes, put a five minute clip. So I've been doing it a lot with the saltwater pond, but today I'm gonna do it with the freshwater pond. Now the water is probably not gonna be as clear, but I can guarantee you the footage is gonna be pretty dang cool with all these exotic fish inside here, the tarpon, the peacock, the largemouth, the red tails, and the koi. I can guarantee you it is gonna be pretty dang cool. After that, we're gonna head over to the fish store and I'm gonna show you guys some cool fish and then take two home and put them into the aquarium because we're gonna start growing out some fish for the big saltwater pond. In order to do a feeding, you need some tilapia. And there you have it. I think we got maybe four or five fillets left in there. Yeah, we got enough. Take this, run underneath some hot water and get to feeding. There we go, now that we got this defrosting, let's pull the plug there, shut this off, because this water, whew, that is freaking hot. Our new fish today are gonna go inside of this aquarium right here. It is 125 gallons that I've had set up for quite a bit of time. It's been fishless for months, and that's because I was just in the middle of not knowing what I wanted to do with it. At first, I had it holding some fish that I thought I was gonna put into the saltwater pond, but the saltwater pond took like two months longer than I thought it was gonna be to set up. So I've really just had it here for, you know, quite a bit of time, just kind of feeling out what I wanted to do. And I came to the conclusion, what's better than a grow out tank of exotic saltwater fish that we can eventually put inside of the saltwater pond. Look at this cool fish right here. It is a box fish. Do you know what kind it is? Comment down below if you know what kind of box fish this is. This guy is wicked cool. The pattern on that fish is just ridiculous. There's blue, there's gold, there's white, different shades of blue. He is super cool and he eats insanely well. Do you guys think that we should put him in the saltwater pond? I don't know. This guy is wicked. Look at that fish, dude. He is so cool and he's actually a pretty good size. Say he's about five or six inches. What do you guys think? Put him in the saltwater pond or keep him inside here. The tilapia is ready to go. We got a pretty good amount of it. And if you look in the water right here, these fish are, they're big, you guys. This catfish right here is two and a half feet. That one's two and a half feet. All these kois are over a foot long. The tarpon in here is almost three feet, so it's gonna be a lot different seeing this underwater than, you know, my beloved saltwater pond that's way over there. It's starting to rain. We're about to hit underwater. Hopefully the footage is gonna be good. I think it will be, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the beauty of the 4,000 gallon freshwater pond.
I was filming that underwater footage, it was dumping rain on me. I'm talking like pouring, you guys can see. We still got a little bit of puddle, so I went back inside, I showered, and I'm all refreshed. I'm smelling good for the fish store, you know? You know, you gotta smell good. But the amount of times that these fish ate the GoPro while I was filming underwater was just insane. Look at that core right there. Mm -mm -mm. These guys are looking mighty, mighty fine. It had to have been like four or five times that they ate the GoPro. But it's finally time we're gonna head over to the fish store. We're gonna get our fish. They were kind enough to put it on hold for me because I told them I'll be back in just a little bit. So let's go to the fish store. And here we are, the barrier reef. We've made it to the fish store now. We're gonna head in there. I'll show you guys a little bit what they got. Then we'll be leaving with two extremely exotic and expensive fish. Let's go. Well, yeah, that just went down. You know when you leave with a big box like this, you've spent some money. The good part is, is that these fish we're gonna be able to have for a long time because as they grow, they're just gonna get bigger. That makes perfect sense. As they grow, they're just gonna get bigger. No crap, Jack. As they grow, we're just gonna be able to move them into bigger and better aquariums. So from the 125, I'm hoping to put them straight into my 900 gallon, 1000 gallon saltwater pond. And then from there, you know, straight to a 5000 gallon. So. It's gonna be freaking epic and these things are awesome and one of them is as rare as they come. So here we are back at the aquarium. Now I did just stick on a power head right here just to get this water moving a little bit more. Also, we only have one little rock structure here and we have two very aggressive fish inside of this box right here. And uh, I went ahead and got two more rocks here so I can set up another little cave right on this side of the aquarium. That way these fish can have, you know, two different spots. One can hide right underneath here and then I'll set up another one right over there. Now the goal for these two fish that we have are gonna be getting them into the saltwater pond as soon as possible. So I'm gonna be power feeding these guys, which means I'm gonna need to do a lot of water changes and be on top of the feeding. I want these things to get in the pond in like as fast as possible. I'm gonna take each of these fish, put them in the aquarium, get them acclimating. So here goes one, there we go. And here goes the other, right there. I don't wanna show you guys what they are because I wanna keep the suspense real for you. We got the new little cave completely engaged. So we have one here, we got one there. And I know the aquarium doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, but this isn't to be a show aquarium. This is simply a grow out aquarium for the big beautiful work of art we have in the back that I can totally in love with now y'all take a look at this right here yeah we are looking to get some pretty crazy stuff here i just got to make some wise 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 decisions and i just haven't made it yet I just, i'm sleeping on it i want to make sure i get the right one because these sharks are not cheap whatsoever so if you were in my shoes what would you get would you get a zebra shark a leopard shark or a smooth hound shark comment it down below those are the three i'm trying to decide between so let me know what you would get down below and heck you might influence me make a decision the night this video is posted i'm gonna let these fish acclimate and we'll be back here in just a flash well speaking of big fish for the saltwater pond i feel like i haven't showed you guys charizard in a little while especially him eating he's getting so big look at this guy this is a little side profile he just comes right up to the camera because he knows i feed him look at how beautiful that's why it's hard for me to take this guy and put him inside of the saltwater pond because look at that i edit right next to him and he's just the coolest fish ever he's so freaking bright i mean just look at him He's got such a good personality. Charizard is simply just the man, and clearly he wants to eat. I mean, watch this. Watch this, you guys. He knows. Ready? I'll pop this open. Boom. He knows. He knows what's about to go down. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's just a freaking maniac, okay? He's nuts. I'll give it to you, buddy. Here you go. Boom. It's gone. Charizard is a savage. I love you, Charizard. You know that, buddy. You know I love you. Look at those colors. Look at those dots. This guy's a beast. Do you think we need to put him in the saltwater pond, or should we keep him inside of the aquarium? Let me know down below, because he is beautiful. Buddy, you want another piece? Huh? You want another piece? Here you go. There you go. 
Get yourself some. Boom! All right, ladies and gents, we are all acclimated up and we have some fish to go over. Up first, right here, we have a nice sized panther grouper a good four and a half maybe five inches i'm sure most of you guys remember the last one that i got with that was about two inches that i surprised for kyle he took that one and now i'm keeping this big one and putting it inside here just a super awesome fish all around i'm gonna go ahead and put him inside here and let's grab our next fish now this is the extremely extremely rare one right here inside of this bag we have a saddle back grouper these things get two to three feet and they are one of the most beautiful groupers ever. Like the mini Otis is beautiful, but this fish is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of the bags. Here we go. Here comes our beautiful panther grouper. Good sized, you guys. Now I'm gonna try and grow these things literally as fast as I possibly can, but in a healthy way. This guy's nice and thick. He's healthy. Let's get this guy out of here. All right, Mr. Saddleback, let's get you out of here. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Get on out of there. There he is. Perfect. So we got these two right here. Which, this is great, you guys. This is awesome because both of these fish are groupers, obviously, and they can be aggressive towards one another. But if you add them to the tank at the same exact time, nobody has any territory. So the likelihood of them being aggressive towards one another goes down drastically. I want you guys to get a good look at that fish right there. The saddleback grouper, yellow, brown, white, gold, and then this beautiful panther grouper, speckled. Two awesome fish I hope to have inside of the saltwater pond out back very, very soon. I just, the panther grouper is so cool to me just because how floppy he is. We need names for the both of these down below. So without further ado, you guys, let's get these two new beautiful fish inside of the aquarium. I am pumped up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy right here. Wet my hand so I don't take the slime coat off him. That fish is just stunning. All right, oh my God, that was fast. He's in, just like that, he's in. All right, he looks like he's gonna go own that rock right there. He's going underneath. Groupers obviously just love any sort of structure, so we got a cave there. We got a cave here. Ooh, you're gonna be social with us, huh, buddy? Four inches. I think we can get this thing to like 10 inches in literally like three months. I mean, these things grow like a weed. Let's go ahead and get the saddle back now. All right, wet the hand again. Come here, buddy. Relax. This fish right here is expensive. Expensive, you guys. A pretty penny. All right, let's get that gorgeous fish in there. Oh my god. Oh, look, he went right to this one. That's awesome. That is awesome. We got great current flow in here. We got these two in here. This guy's about three inches. This one's probably about four inches. And the good part is, is that the panther grouper is less aggressive. So it's better to have him be a little bit bigger. I think they're going to end up being, you know, good buddies. So these two are awesome fish. I cannot wait to see them grow. We're going to be documenting the growth of these guys for sure. Feeding them every day, getting them nice and fat, getting them big and getting them into the saltwater pond. Look at those two. Two beautiful fish. Don't forget to drop a name down below in the comments for both of these guys. Saddleback grouper right there and a panther grouper. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below what other fish you guys want to see me grow out inside of this aquarium. I love you all so much. Be on the lookout for a new shark coming for the saltwater pond. We're pumping out the videos. We're not missing an upload. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.